is the example that the Newcastle County Chamber sets really influences a lot of the way we operate the EEC. It's around helping companies find their next customer. It's uh, a practical approach. Uh, it's really around bringing people together uh, to succeed. So, th so that's number one. Uh, th the second piece is a blueprint that I try to use with all of our companies in that they had a mission and vision and they had the outline of what could be. And it enabled us to change and evolve, and I'll talk about some of that evolution today, uh, in a way that remains true to the mission and even more relevant as we go forward. You know, first and foremost, it was about the EEC being an incubator, about a place to launch. And, and I think that captures what we do as an incubator. There are a lot of great programs uh, around that serve different needs of the entrepreneur at different stages of their development. And, and we're looking for those companies that have gotten through the idea stage, who have gotten through the proof of concept stage, and are ready to really launch and run a business. And I think that's where the connection with the, uh, the chamber comes in handy because our co companies see what it's like. They see other businesses on a daily basis. They realize that there's more to a business than just having customers. Uh, so we're, we're looking at those companies who are looking to grow and run their business. So it evolved as we got into that, and, and we'll, I'll talk about what, what our vision is, so that we really have three focal points as the Emerging Enterprise Center. Our first and primary is always around incubation, business incubation, working with startup co companies. The second is around business education. And the third, in addressing that entrepreneurial ecosystem, as uh, Mark talked about, is around entrepreneurial As Mark advocacy. said, it came out of a grow your own uh, economic development uh, approach. Uh, from, from the Chamber and the Economic Development Council. And the idea that the failure rate among startup businesses are astronomical. More than 50% fail within the first two years. By the year 10, virtually 90% are no longer around. Uh, a lot of the mistakes are things that are common across all business lines. And so with a support system and the proper advice, we felt uh, that the emer that an incubator could really help our help companies succeed. As part of the vision and the mission, we're really around a thought process of helping businesses move in a very nurturing environment through three somewhat scary but related uh, series of activities. One is growing their business, really defining their customer, their ability to sell to customers, and then a process to be able to replicate that selling process. The second is developing their business skills. There is more than the idea and the product and the sales. You do have, when you grow, HR, finance, lots of other implications, the operations. And then finally is to create and refine whatever business plan or business model you had coming in to one that actually works. So you can anticipate your needs, be prepared to take advantage of the opportunities as they uh, present and that's what themselves. we do. We get them thinking about how to position themselves to take advantage of their opportunities and also to develop the habits so that when they leave the incubator, they've got the confidence in themselves, in their skills, and their business model in order to address whatever challenges they may face going forward. And From our succeed. incubation program, we have not only the residents, we saw the office space there, we have a virtual program, and we have a uh, pre-incubation program for somebody who really is serious, uh, doesn't quite have it ready to launch, but will within the next six months. We partner with SCORE, uh, the SBDC, and the Women's Business Center in order to get them to get their plans and their model together in order to succeed. And then we also have an international soft landings program. And that's designed for foreign companies who are looking to establish a presence here in the United States uh, where we can help guide them, make connections, um, educate them on the way uh, business is done in the U.S. until they figure out where and how 
they're going to succeed here in the U.S. Our program involves much more than space. It's the counseling. It's the mentoring. It's the connections that we're able to offer, the business education and the development of their skills. Uh, the the uh, working with interns through the University of Delaware, uh, Goldie Beacom College, uh, and Wilmington University. All this comes together in, in helping making it a comprehensive program for our companies there. So are you a business under three years old or thinking of starting a business? Contact us first to find out more about the Emerging Enterprise Center and how we can help you.